What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Whistle Stop Tour, which is to beat the part-time on two betrayals in Halo Combat Evolved. So start up that level. You can do this on any difficulty, and you could also do this on co-op if you would like. Uh, you can't use any beneficial skulls such as Bandana, uh, any with a zero multiplier. I think that's the only one in uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary. But you can see we started off uh, Overcharged Plasma Pistol, all those Sentinels. And then you can noob combo that elite as well while you run down the side. Activate this panel and open this door. Um, again, you can't use any beneficial skulls. You can do this on co-op if it's giving you too much trouble. Uh, the power time for this is 20 minutes. We're going to get in there around 15 minutes. Uh, but open this door. You can just run past all these enemies. You don't need to kill any. I just decided to, you know, kill some while on the run because it makes it more fun. Um, but these guys, again, just run past them. I'm uh, taking that guy out with a plasma pistol, just to show him who's boss. These guys you can take it out if you'd like. You start off with a shotgun and plasma pistol, so pretty effective at taking these guys out, especially on easy. Slide down here into that tree, and then you're going to make your way over here. A lot of the times, you could just wrap around this wraith, and he won't see you. Um, you could just shoot him with your shotgun as you wrap around him to kill him. He's pretty weak on uh, easy. You can see that tree with the new graphics is not displaying the correct geometry so my plasma grenade just hit nothing and fell to the ground but you can see how easy it is to take out that wraith with a shotgun and then just hop in this banshee and head up here and we are going to the first pylon that we gotta disrupt with our shields so we go up here there's gonna be two grunts and one elite so just banshee bomb into that hallway hopefully you get all three like right there then make your way up try to crouch under there cannot make it I have to jump over. Worst case scenario, you just walk around to the other side. Make sure that you don't land your Banshee on the left side because that is where a fresh Banshee is going to spawn. And if your old Banshee is there, it will actually uh, spawn on top of your old Banshee. And then it will fall off the map most likely. Or fall off the ledge, rather. And you won't be able to use a fresh Banshee. You'll have to use your old one, which in this case isn't too bad because it was pretty healthy. It had a good amount of... Uh, it didn't take a lot of damage, so it was pretty sturdy still. But you can see the new ones right here. Hop in there. You always want a new one when you can get one. And we're going to fly right down here. And we're going to Banshee Bomb the doorway. I Banshee Bombed a little too soon. Um, but they didn't walk out by that point. But you can see you could just easily take them out. And then make your way down. And into the structure. We could just ignore all the people behind us. There's people at the other side of the bridge that spawn. But forget about them. No need to go over there. Make your way in here. And we're going to go over here. We're just going to cut through the middle of the room. Shoot this glass out. And we're just going to jump through there. And we can avoid most of the enemies that way. And we can just speed right through to the exit of this room. There's going to be two jackals in here. On easy. Take them out. Throw a plasma grenade down at the end of the hall. I threw it a little bit short. I was trying to get it so it would kill that elite that spawns at the end of the hallway. But... It was a little too short, but it killed the jackal for us, so it wasn't all for naught. But in any case, just run by all the enemies and shoot as you go. You don't need to kill all of them, obviously. Wait there for, like, one or two seconds to get the flood to move forward and engage the elites. Then you can run over here, get some health if you need it, some shotgun ammo, some frag grenades, and then just jump up here. Uh, if you're having trouble with that jump, obviously it's ideal to do that jump because uh, you kind of cut off a lot of the room and you don't have to run around. But worst case scenario, just run around. Um, it's on easy, so you can run past most of the enemies. So uh, We come to the first bridge, and unfortunately we can't use the trick that we did in Assault on the Control Room, where we just jumped across to the other bridge. We do have to go down this entire bridge. Uh, it has to do with load zones that you have to hit. If you don't hit the load zones in order, uh, you actually can't progress through the level. So unfortunately we do have to go across the bridges and everything in this. But we'll do it. It's fine. Run across, obviously, the Sword Elite that I took out earlier was the main priority. He's the one who could really kill you in, like, two hits, uh, rather than all the other enemies who are terrible and not very good at shooting or smacking or doing any damage to you whatsoever. So we go in here. This is one of the toughest areas on Legendary in this level. Just throw a frag grenade there. There's usually a bunch of people there. Uh, at least two. More people on Legendary. There's always more people on Legendary, but... Just throw some grenades as you go. Some elites will spawn here. And they're going to be fighting these flood guys. You want to... I threw a grenade here, hoping to take out the 
that flood guy. Unfortunately, uh, he was already out. You want to try to avoid that, obviously. A rocket guy spawns at the end of this level, or at the end of this hallway. So you want to try to take him out before he shoots at you. Fortunately, it's on easy, so it, the rocket doesn't do that much damage to you. Uh, I mean, it almost killed me, but definitely on any other difficulty, I would be dead. But fortunately, there's health right there. I just walked over as we go to this section. Uh, we cut through that room entirely, basically. It's pretty easy to cut through that room. There's only a couple uh, flood forms at the end. There's like two or three standing around, but just easily take them out with your shotgun. Same thing here. We're just going to run down and take out all the people in front of you with a shotgun. I'm going to throw a couple grenades. There's actually like, I'm not sure how many rocket guys. I think there's three on easy. Um, we could see one shot and blew up a bunch of his friends for us, which was nice. But you want to make the rocket-wielding flood a priority. They're all going to be human flood forms. So keep an eye out for those guys and kill those guys first. Uh, you probably want to throw a couple grenades down there first to uh, soften them up, possibly just kill them all. But obviously I was just running and gunning uh, to get the best time. But you could take a little bit more time than that uh, just to make sure that you don't get shot by a couple rockets. But this room we come to, shoot out the glass here again like we did previously. Uh, be aware of the exploding carrier form. Sometimes there's one right up against that glass. Sometimes he's further back like he was there, which was fortunate. His explosion actually kind of propelled me forward, which was actually a little bit helpful. It saved me a half second or so. But just go to this elevator. And be aware that uh, shields on easy, for whatever reason, recharge slowly. More slowly than on other difficulties, which is odd. But... And also, frag grenades are actually more powerful when you throw them. So, if you're trying to grenade jump, you need more health than you would normally uh, to grenade jump. At this point, two enemies fall down from the ceiling right there, and I just totally sidetracked them. Uh, just follow this path exactly. You don't have to shoot anybody in this room except for the one coming up. You could probably just run past them, but just shoot them. And that's the only guy you have to fight in this uh, whole level. This works on Legendary as well, this route I'm taking. Uh, and you only have to end up shooting that one guy. So we're going to come out to the field here. Not quite a field. It's kind of like a field. And flip over this overturned ghost. Hop in. You don't have to kill that elite. I just did it because why not? Um, but don't, you know, distract yourself with that. If it's not close, if he's not close by, there's no need to go find him and kill him. That would just waste time. But just take a wide berth from that wraith. Because if you get too close to him, it's easier for him to shoot you. So just take a wide berth and he won't be able to get you. Drive through here. I want to bail here for health and there's rocket ammo. Um, if you don't have rockets at this point, that's fine. You don't need them. I grabbed them earlier on, but if not, uh, it's, it's totally okay. Just, you know, stock up on the grenades down there as well. Um, I have a shotgun. The shotgun is really what you need throughout this whole level. Rockets are nice to have, um, but they're not necessary on easy. Legendary, you definitely want them, but we're doing easy right now, so no big deal if you don't have them. And we're going to speed over here, bail, and grab this Banshee. And we're just going to do a couple spins. Oh, we look so awesome. And we're going to go over here to the right of this structure, or this, like, middle pillar of Earth. Just rising up into the sky. And then you want to make a priority out of that fuel rod grunt. And be aware that the fuel rods actually blow up on the ground, kind of like uh, vehicles in Halo 2. Once they are not being manned anymore, they actually just blow up after a couple seconds. So be aware of that, and don't you know get too close to it before it explodes, because it could damage you pretty significantly. Now we're in here. This is where I like to use rockets. That grenade did nothing. That rocket went through everybody. Very unlucky. Might as well just not have them. And only a double kill with those rockets? The explosion radius, the blast radius of the rockets on easy is much smaller, like significantly smaller. Um, I forgot about that entirely until I did this run through. But it's very small, and you'll see that later on too. I shoot into a group of people and it just kills like one or two of them, which is ridiculous. What's the point of a rocket launcher if it doesn't do anything? I could see it, uh, you know, having that smaller blast radius when an enemy is shooting it, that would definitely make it easier, but I mean, it doesn't help you when you're wielding it, so it's kind of weird. But, whatever. We don't need it. Again, uh, shotgun is what we're going to fall back on. You want to throw that grenade right when you activate that pylon thing. 
and uh, shoot a rocket in there, and then throw another grenade and shoot another rocket in there, um, and then just fly out of here. Don't worry about that guy shooting behind me. That was a jackal that we left alive, so he's not really going to do anything. If you can kill a banshee, uh, it doesn't really matter. I just killed him because he was right in front of me. Uh, sometimes they like to follow you, so I was like, one less banshee couldn't hurt. And you can see on my radar there's one following me. If he starts shooting at you, or if he's following you in general, just do a 360, and that should get him to get off your tail. And that way you won't have to worry about getting blown up by this guy while you're going through this tunnel. Be aware, when you get to this point, there's usually some rocket-wielding flood. They seem to be further back at this point. There they are. There's two right there. You want to fly kind of uh, high up, but you don't want to get too high because the you, the ceiling would work against you. Uh, because A, if you're being uh, dragged across the ceiling, you're going slowly. You could be going faster, obviously, if you're dragging and scraping your nose against the ceiling. And also, uh, the rocket guys may shoot you and miss you, but even if they miss you, since you're right next to the ceiling, they may uh, end up damaging you and killing you as well, just because of the blast radius. So, if you're not close to the ceiling, they won't be able to kill you with splash damage, so that's good. Most of the time, when you cut back here, for this ghost, these enemies are not alive. Um, sometimes they are, and you want to kill the guy with rockets, make them a priority, there's usually only one with a rocket launcher, so you want to look out for him and shoot him first. He's usually further back in the pack, um, so you may have picked him out when I shot him. I kind of shot him like in the middle of that whole thing, but you want to cut back. Once you activate this door, grab this ghost, kind of back into there. Kill all the enemies here, and then just go back out and grab the banshee, and we're actually going to push the ghost through so we can use the ghost in this next section. This is actually pretty easy to do. It's not hard at all. Just back up the ghost into there like I did and push one of the fins or the wings on the front of the ghost and just push it into the wall and it will actually go through the wall it's pretty easy to do then hop in and you could pull the other one through the small gap and at this point you want to speed across here but here you want to slow down and wait for the enemies to spawn if you just blow through here all the enemies won't spawn and you could progress to the end of the level, but there will be no Banshees or enemies. And you need the Banshees to finish the level, so uh, that would be not good. So you can see I went there, went through there pretty slowly. And I'm going to put my Ghost over here, and then walk over here and activate that. This is so I'm not running in a straight line away from the Rocket Guy. There is at least one Rocket Guy over there. Um, if you're running straight in a straight line away from the Rocket Guy, obviously you're a much easier target to hit. So you might get hit and die, so that's not good. So you want to park to the left over there, and that way you could kind of uh, walk in a perpendicular line to whatever his shots coming at you would be. And that way you could easily dodge them instead of running away directly from them and getting shot in the back. But you know that you've spawned all the enemies that you need to uh, previous to this when we were on the bridge if it says final run right there. You see the screen got narrower and it said final run. You need to kill those five flood forms right there that I just killed in order for the next set of enemies to spawn and the banshees to spawn. So don't just speed by here. You do need to kill those five people. Then keep going. Hop back in your ghost. And sometimes the banshee follows you at this point. If so, just you know, do a 360 to hopefully get them off your tail. I like to cut to the right at this point. A lot of people like to go to the left. You could shoot the... There's two rocket-wielding flood here. I killed the one right there. And there's another one right there. He died. Uh, you don't have to shoot him, but I like to on easy because it's very quick and easy to kill him. And uh, it's better than, you know, just hoping they don't shoot you. At this point, you just boost up there. And since there's a rock there, um, it kind of pops you up and over that lip. And you can just speed on over here. And there's these two Banshees waiting for you to take them. And you actually speed right up to it, bail, and get in one. And most of the time, you will not get hit. If you end up getting hit, you should have a checkpoint, like right before the section. So that's not bad. Just do it over. You could go hide behind the rocks behind the Banshees, if you'd like. And uh, get the Wraiths to kind of give them a little bit of time to get distracted by something else. And uh, then they will 
start ignoring you again, and you can just pop out and get in the Banshee safely. You can see right there, I was messing with the old and new graphics, showing you how uh, the new graphics are deceiving at some points, and they actually are not faithful to where the geometry is at times. So that's why on Lazo and speedruns, I use the old graphics. So I know sometimes people are upset when I use the old graphics, but that is why. Uh, I do have all the Lazo guides up if you need those. And speedrunning guides, the achievements for under three hours. But go in here, activate this pillar, and that's it for this achievement at least. So thanks for watching, guys. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion, and I'll see you later for more achievements.